Hello everyone and welcome to another live reaction stream right here on Haley's Cloud Games for a first ever Disney and Marvel game showcase. Apologies for any audio issues right there. We're using a new screen and uh, since I got my new microphone, I evidently haven't corrected it. Uh, we are here to watch along to the Disney and Marvel game showcase right here with you wonderful folks out there in the chat. We're expecting new games, new announcements, some reveals and some updates on exciting new games. Before we do get into all that, don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe and hit that bell so you're kept in the loop with all of the amazing content we do here at Haley's Cloud Games. Like the sound the Stadia podcast, our weekly PlayStation podcast talking the PS, Cloud Quest, our weekly cloud gaming podcast, and all the other great live streams, first looks, and much, much more on the channel. Richie, it's very exciting stuff, but before we do get into the main bulk of the show, I uh, just want to address, of course, uh, the uh, passing of our Queen, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, yesterday. Very sad indeed. Um, I know she touched a lot of people's lives. I think we just uh, want, before we get into the full show, just commemorate it and uh, rest in peace. Her Majesty, and of course, uh, anyone out there who's mourning over the next couple of days. And uh, yeah, long live the king, as they say. Richie, we're here to talk about games, though, of course. And um, that's the very exciting thing we are loving here on the channel. This is the first ever Disney Marvel Game Showcase. We theorized it a little bit on this week's show. There's loads of people in the chat uh, saying Morbin time, and hopefully, you're going to watch along with us. Uh, I doubt we'll see any Morbius after that movie failed epically. Uh, but we will see some games in about five minutes' time, hosting by Blessing Adioya Jr. What are you expecting to see? Any last-minute kind of twists in the tale? Um, we were talking before that some of the rumoured EA games, either Iron Man or Black Panther, but it seems to be what I've seen on Twitter today, um, leaning towards Iron Man, actually, over Black Panther. Ooh. There's a lot of people calling out for Miles Morales on PC. I think that's less likely we'll see that here. Because it's not a new game, it's not a big reveal. I think that's more going to be a PlayStation blog post more mm -hmm. than anything. Um, from the Star Wars side, we've got things. We've got there's quite a lot of stuff we could see. We could see more things like Star Wars Eclipse, maybe something Amy Hennig. We know she's working on things. There's absolutely tons of Star Wars stuff, tons of Marvel stuff in the works. So, and the fact that they're calling a show, get, showcase for like all of this stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming Star Wars is there, but the thing is Disney and Marvel. Yeah, it's so actually, a, uh, Star Wars might be a bit lesser. Yeah, it's an interesting one because D D23, which is Disney's kind of annual showcase event, it's like it's their E3, it's their Comic Con that they hold every year in in celebration. They tell yeah. us about the park updates. I've seen trickle throughout the course of today some updates about the theme parks, the rides, and such. And yes, this is their first ever game specific showcase uh, that we're going to see live. So I'm very curious to see both what format this takes. And what we're actually going to see, but you're very right there, they haven't mentioned Star Wars. So Disney could um, obviously could envelop everything. However, they're very specific to say Disney and Marvel. Uh, we do know yeah. Disney Dreamlight Valley, which is the kind of Animal Crossing meets Stardew Valley Disney princess and character game is, is in early beta access now. That's going to get something teased here. We know Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga is getting an update. Uh, and we do know we are going to see something from Amy Hennig's uh, Marvel Ensemble game. But between there, it's pretty much all up in the air, and we don't really know what they're going to lean on. But we theorized on the podcast that all of these other publishers and developers, they usually do their own stuff. So EA, you would Ubisoft, imagine, We've got Ubisoft tomorrow. Um, presentation tomorrow night, which I'm, ex I, I'm predicting a double, a double drop of the Ubisoft Star Wars game. And we actually we know there's going to be Marvel games, Disney, Pixar, Lucasfilm, and 20th Century Studios are all here tonight. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of stuff. Um, before we do get into the show, obviously going live in a few moments, a shout out to everyone in the chat, of course. I would have done that initially, but forgot because I couldn't speak, or you couldn't hear me, more importantly. A uh, shout out to Humble, Kumna, Louise, uh, John, Don in the chat. John and Don are two separate people, by the way. They just phonetically sound the same as I said them there, back to back. Cube Apple's in the chat as well, along with a m bunch more lovely folks. Uh, those with the stickers and the badges next to them, you guys are our, are our Helix heroes. We do appreciate you supporting the channel that much, much a little bit further with your patronage. Uh, it goes a long, long way to bringing you better, tasty content. Uh, let us know in the comments what you're expecting to see because we genuinely don't really know outside of what's being announced. Uh, Kumna in the chat says, don't EA normally do their own showcase? Uh, yes, they do. They have an EA play event usually once every summer, uh, but they put a pin in that this year. We don't really know why, but they chose not to go ahead with it. They were going to talk about games when they were ready to be revealed is what they said at the time. Uh, this could be it. Uh, this is what we said, Richie, about does Disney actually have the pulling power to say, you know what, EA, don't do your thing. Ubisoft, don't do your thing. 
I, we're going to show it all in one we particular know. event. We know Disney, Marvel, Star Wars. Um, at the moment, they've kind of been trying to bring all their IP back in-house. Mm-hmm. And they seem to be um, dealing with um, game companies and put other publishers on a case by case basis rather than long term contracts like they did previously with EA. Yeah. So I wonder if like part of the new contract situation they're stipulating because they want to kind of bring this all in house, get people hyped for their games, hyped for their IP. Mm-hmm. That that's this is the point of tonight. And so then they're going, you know what? Yeah, like you can have the game. However for these probably temple games we're going to announce them at our event you can be here for with us yeah and it's uh we were actually work. okay with like to be fair, i don't really get i don't really care who where games are announced as long as awesome games are getting announced yeah i don't mind either it's kind of uh putting them all in one place reminds me of e3 and that's what i would like to see all of these different publishing developers and more importantly games just together. I'm sure we'll see a sprinkling of mobile games in here. I know there's quite a few oh, Marvel yeah. Strike Force and such. Um, but again, Disney also encompasses Pixar and Fox now. And it, we could see anything. We genuinely could. I'm curious to know how long this, this is going to be in terms of a showcase because they've not really indicated that either. Um, so we could just see a combination of absolutely everything. But we must understand that they own some of the best IP in the world. So they could come out swinging with some unannounced titles triple a quality new partnerships and just some exciting stuff really so which is why we want to cover where well, we wanted to cover it on the channel just to see what it what it, it's what new, it becomes it's exciting it is like, and we've got yeah. a beer it's friday night i mean we're both big star wars fans we're both big marvel fans we're both disney fans like what's not to love we're both video game fans this is kind of very much up our alley it is indeed, and uh, hopefully, of course... If only from... the bought Lord of the Rings. <laughs> if only, the if only. Um, of course, fingers crossed as well that we get some announcements specific to cloud gaming. That's what our kind of core channel is about, Here of course. Uh, I'm on 50 seconds, 49, 48. I'm on 50. I'll stop on 50. Oh, you're, you're ahead I'm ahead of, of you, yet. Yeah. It's seconds. No, I still care. Okay, okay. So we'll know, boys and girls, before Richie yeah. does by fractional amounts. Uh, but yes, in, in terms of that, we've got 30 seconds. It's exciting. I'll pause it for all of three seconds. So we are on 31, 30. That brought you a bit more in line, Richie? 30. Oh, you are a few seconds behind. One, two, Do you find three, YouTube? four, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. Do you find the YouTube premiere like music back? Back in the room, very loud. Yeah, I'm going to kick it in now. Uh, I don't know if I'll have subtitles on that chat. Let us know if it's too loud, but obviously we want you to see the showcase with the rest of us. Chat, let us know if you want subtitles on or off before it hits. I don't know if we get a choice if it's a live stream. I think stream last time we did one of these, chat wanted um, subtitles off, so that's what we'll default to. But Oop. let us know, chat, if you want them switching on. Trailer, ESRB. And we have, there's Star Wars, there's Avatar, so Ubisoft are here. It's a sizzle reel. There's Lego, the reel. there's Disney Dreamlight, Dreamlight Valley. Aliens? Magneto? Um, I'm also... talking about like, the EA Ubisoft publishing situation. I think Remember it's probably, they the might publish their own Remember. games, but in oh. partnership. Hmm. But, yeah. Oh, that's the Disney racing game. Yeah. Okay. We got... Toy Story in there. So we are seeing Marvel Midnight Suns in. as well, yeah. Is that alien? Yeah. That's Star Wars Squadrons. Maybe Rogue, a new war, Rogue Squadron game? I mean, there's a Rogue Squadron movie. Here we go. World premiere, World straight premiere. into it. Nothing for blessed to do yet. I expect to see that a lot tonight. Yeah. Check my qualities. Uh, yeah. Biffle, is that Mike Biffle? And Disney? It's very Stranger Things, but it's not. Very um, electros. It is oh, like Tron, Tron identity racing game. A Tron re- uploading yeah. in 2023. Biffle and Steam. Wish Yo, what's up, Tron identity? Here we go. What a way to start the show. 
Welcome to the first ever Disney and Marvel Games Showcase. I'm your host, Blessing Adioye Jr., and today I'll be your NPC guide as you quest through game announcements from Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Lucasfilm, and 20th Century. So now, Star Wars is here then. date with Bithel Games, first adventure in the expanded yeah. Tron universe, and their upcoming the expanded Tron Disney universe. Games, be sure to follow their socials. In fact, you should probably drop a follow on all the Disney I games think Tron's cool for more info on today's world premieres, like this one right here. I mean, the Tron ride. Maybe expanding it, maybe expanding it through video games is a better way to go. The Tron, TCU says Cube Apple, Nintendo Switch. Now this, I saw. I think that was in the brief Sequel teaser. Sequel: The Lion King game for this Sega Mega Drive. <laughs> Mickey, oh. Minnie, Donald, Goofy. What you need, Toku? Our entire world is in a danger. Mickey Mouse you platform. I haven't played one of them since the Mega Drive days. Mickey Mouse has kind of semi been retired, to be fair. Oh, he's making a comeback now. If the animated shows on Disney Plus are hilarious, like little five minute shorts. The shorts, yeah. Mm. We should help them. Actually, not too far from this animation style. But yeah, I'm thinking like Castle of Illusion on the Sega Mega Drive. Oh, yeah, we played that before, I think, at yours. Yeah, yeah. When, like, didn't you get, like, a Sega Mega Drive Classic and we had a night playing games? No, I just have a Sega... Oh, I had got a Sega Drive Mini. Yeah. Illusion Island, so... Oh, no, it was at one of our friends. Didn't he bring it over? It's Mega Drive. I have one that plugs in, and I've still got Castle of Illusion. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. Nintendo, though, is it Nintendo exclusive? Awesome. I got dibs on Goofy, y'all. Disney Illusion Island uh, that seems like a good game for Switch. on the Nintendo Switch system, and whether you're looking to run solo or couch co-op with up to three friends as the Fab Four... It does look like Rayman. Yeah, Rayman today. Legends, Humble. Yeah. You're completely now, right. if you've been wishing for more info on Marvel's Midnight Suns, Rich, you know what's really I weird? You. We, you and me both watch kind of funny content. I'm not yeah. used to seeing this much of Blessing's torso. The first yeah. Customizable I didn't realize it was like... I just like shoulders and all. Yeah, exactly. Magic... Ghost Rider, Nico Minoru, and more in a fight against Lilith, Mother of Demons. I'm a bit lukewarm on Midnight Suns God, at the moment. It's because it's. I feel like I just don't know if I'd like it or not. I'm fairly cold on it. Like, it's not exciting me. I, I think it's one that I'm interested because it's Marvel. But that's mm, about as yeah. far as it goes. Like, yeah, when I see this type of gameplay. If you're into XCOM yeah. and you're into Marvel, you're gonna, I think you're going to love it. But that's like the Venn diagram of this game. like. Yeah, it will definitely introduce a lot, lot of new people into that genre of games, though. Of course, I think it's been um, delayed twice now. Chat, he thinks the problem with this game is shown too many times. I kind of agree. I don't. Mm. I don't feel like I need to see more of this game. I just need this game to come out. Yeah. I need to see this in the hand of reviewers, hands of reviewers. Yeah, it's kind of been the first Marvel thing we've seen of AAA quality that's put all of these sort of heroes into one bracket. So yeah. we've never seen like Wolverine, Ghost Rider, Doctor Strange, and Iron Man all on the same screen together ever. You Obviously, comic book wise, comic but fans yeah, oh, yeah. Is coming out this it's happened, year, but I mean, in terms of AAA video PC, game quality, PlayStation Five and Xbox yeah. Series X and S, and it's available to pre-order today. But that's not all. Right now, we have a sneak peek of the intro for the set of new prequel shorts that gives a never-before-seen preview of the heroes that you'll be playing as. I'm gonna see that logo a lot. I feel. Two K. Yeah. Is this the same game? For access, yeah. I think 2K must be the publisher. Oh, is it, and is it like an anime to go along with it? Yeah, that's that's what we just said. Um, like prequel shots. I dig the art style. Yeah. It's very Castlevania on Netflix. See now the problem with this now. I'm I thinking, like the music I, as well. Yeah, the problem with this, I'm thinking. I feel I'm like going to this. I'd rather the watch. Yeah, I'd rather watch this. Yeah. Evening, Phil. Phil in the chat. Thanks for stopping by. Hope your weekend's getting off to a good start. Yeah, I'm down for this TV show, Richie. Whatever it is, <laughs> I'll totally watch this. It's like it looks like actually the art style's not too far from the '90s X-Men as well. It's got that sharp edge to it. It's got the kind of hand drawnness 
like quality to it, even mm. though you know it's like computer rendered. It doesn't look computer rendered. Prequel shots. Tune in. It's on YouTube. On YouTube. Sweet. Yeah, that looks like it's gonna be dope. Be sure to follow at Marvel Games and the Midnight Sun social channels for more information. And now, here's some exciting news about a Marvel game you can play today. Disney's oh, I knew it was gonna be mobile. Strike Force. Ansel in the chat says they should make a full TV series of that. Yeah, I would completely yeah, agree. One hundred percent should. They might just be testing the water for it because we know we are getting the '93 X-Men back uh, later this year. So, which is going to pick the up. idea of like the like shorts as well. We'll get more people interested in the game. Yeah, you lose the, the shorts. Them in. They're free they're on YouTube, so they're easy to watch. And you go, oh my god, I'm hyped for this. Mm. Strike Force. I only ever dabbled in Strike Force. It's one of those mobile games. Like, I like the concept. I download it. I do the first bit, and then as soon as the microtransactions kick in, I'm out. Yeah, I just don't. I just never game on my phone. Like, cool I my, my phone isn't too. a gaming so device. It's it. a phone. Yeah. Here we go. This Spider-Man 2. I'm never in one place long you enough like where I only have my phone where I can feel like I won't sit down and play a game. Mm. Was that? You have plans right now? We'll cancel them. Welcome to Marvel Snap. Oh, it's um, you can what's her name area. from Shang Chi? Your workplace, bathroom. I oh, Aquafina. Yeah, Aquafina. I'm surprised I got that. I am <laughs> as well, actually. Yeah. And it's as easy to I just think because she has a cool name, it's memorable. Actually, easier. I always think it's a brand of water. Yeah. I feel like South America, they sell Aquafina in vending machines. Like Jinx is in the chat. What's up, Derek? Hope you're good. Weekend's getting started, boys. Maybe you, like me, would love to see Shang Chi kick Thanos' evil purple butt. I think his ass handed to him, quite frankly. Well, but... his movie came out too late, didn't it? It did, yeah. If he wanted to be in it, he should have been earlier. Yeah. You have to wait for Kang. It's easy to pick up and so much fun to master. It's actually crazy how many card games, like physical card games, are now digital now. But they're still cards. They're just digital cards. So don't wait to explore a yeah, I mean, it's, I suppose it means people can actually play the game without having to spend a, a fortune of just like collecting them first. Game launches on October 18th. Marvel Snap. Now at MarvelSnap.com. The Snap yeah, Richie. Yeah, I can get with that. Don't forget to set a reminder to download Marvel Snap on your Android. Uh, in the chat says, do we know how long this is supposed to be? We don't. And be sure to stick around here for more Marvel reveals later in the show. It's all, it's all a surprise. First, next year, gamers are getting dropped into the middle of a Xenomorph outbreak in the tactical squad-based action of Aliens Dark Descent. In this look at gameplay, take your squad of Marines on missions as you infiltrate and investigate the Xenomorph outbreak. Develop this your tactics, cool. assemble your colonial marines, and take on the Xenomorph hordes in Aliens Dark Descent next year on consoles and PC. Dark but first, Descent. let's talk about Avatar and revisit Pandora. I think we're going to see a lot Avatar more of this tomorrow. Now you'll be so forward. The beauty and danger of the alien moon. I think it's going to be the one of the big highlights of tomorrow's show. As a Navi. Either or, I reckon it's going to be the opener. Interact with all new creatures. Mm. Either this or Sea of Thieves for the old the tomorrow. You mean Frontier. Skull and Bones? Fighting against the RDA no. In a brand new standalone story Ubisoft showcasing the Microsoft game randomly. <laughs> now from Pandora to a galaxy far yeah, that was it. Away. So Avatar's Rebel definitely Star Wars, got more the tomorrow. Saga destroyed sales records like Rebels taking out Death Stars. If you haven't picked it up yet, or you've already blown up all the Death Stars too, here's another reason to jump into the Skywalker Saga. New characters including Cassie and Andor, Reva, Captain Rex, and more are coming to Lego Star Wars the Skywalker Saga soon. Take on even more stormtroopers. Give me more levels. Or the force. Part of your way to the more levels. We added some characters which we're not in the collection. Skywalker Saga. The Galactic Edition comes out. The Galactic the Edition. Oh, they're going all out on this. Including six all new ones, adding some of your favorite characters. Bring it to Stadia. Now, for those who don't know, Lucasfilm Games is known for more than just Star Wars titles. Today, uh, the voice of Monkey Guy Island, Island. Wood, Dominic Armado, is here to share a look at the upcoming Return to Monkey Island. There it is. Hello, um, fellow pirates. My name is Dominic Armado, the voice of Guybrush Streetwood. Don't be fooled by the name. The Monkey Island Adventure the series is about pirates, not monkeys. 
It's been a part of the Lucasfilm family of games for more than 30 years, beginning in 1990 with The Secret of Monkey What you be wanting, boy? I want to be a pirate. Pretty fast years, pacing in this so far. Each game has been carefully hmm. crafted to feature the humor... No adverts as well, which is always good. ...adventure that made Monkey Island such an iconic video game series. Yeah, the Skywalker saga for me, uh, it felt like it could have been a lot more fleshed out and longer. Considering it's supposed to encapsulate all nine movies, I felt like they didn't spend enough time with each movie. And a lot of it was kind of just filler, filler missions. Like, I enjoyed it, but I blitzed through some of, like, the, the movies in no time. It was, like, episode, probably what? Episode, like, two or something? Like, Attack of the Clones might have been, like, two or so hours, and you were done with the campaign part of it. And it was like, that was a whole movie. Yeah, I remember talking to you and Jeff where it's like you can they've try to condense what could have been like nine games at uh, once and mm -hmm. a lot. By picking up Return to Monkey Island. Lucasfilm games yeah, and for the Platinum Trophy, it requested you, it required you to go and get like 1,100 Kyber bricks, which was just poor. Oh, oh, that's awesome. And now, these, these are already out. Yeah, Gargoyles Remastered. Gargoyles, wow. Fan favorite that's sure to have you screaming like a Viking eaten by a I never played it, but I remember the, the cartoon on a Saturday morning. You have to wait to climb back into the world of Gargoyles Remastered. You can grab your phone and start unlocking heroes in this Disney and Pixar action RPG right now. Yeah, they aren't half just like blitzing through this, aren't they? I'm surprised the quality doesn't seem great in the stream, but I'm at 1080p on the 1080p monitor. Like, you never know who. So, oh, I recognise who she's from. It's Ursula from The Little Mermaid, and that's Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas. But I don't really know what they're doing. My classic Disney knowledge isn't great because I haven't really seen the film since I was a kid. That's ah, alright, I'll keep you on, on track, Richie. Yeah. I don't know why these are paired up together. Oh, Hades is there at least. They've got James Woods. Scar, Maleficent all kicking out. And Jafar, oh, Mirrorverse. I think that's the mobile game that launched just uh, earlier this year. I'd suggest downloading Disney Mirrorverse and leveling up your teams, like now, if you're hoping to take on Hades Do it and now. other villains dropping Don't wait, this October. Now. All right, let's get into our next reveal. Game loft. It's a racing game. Mickey Racing Arcade. Some classic uh, Disney stuff on the screens. What did Game Loft used to do? I, re I recognise the name Game Loft. Disney Speedstorm. This is a free to play racer I feel like we've seen be announced. Disney cart. Yeah. Game Loft in mobile games. Yeah, that must be where I've seen it from. Now, the, you know, have you noticed with mobile games, they all have this certain like aesthetic to their trailers. The where, style yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say Fortnite. I'd say it's just like very cartoony. It's, it's, but trans it's transcended Fortnite now, but that's kind of yeah. where it's popularized. But it doesn't. It doesn't actually reflect what the gameplay looks like. I'd love to know the conversations that go on to say, like, who in these trailers, like, wins the race, like... Mulan, Captain Jack, Sully, it's and only, Mickey Mouse. It's only four characters. And coming soon. Yeah. That's more like the gameplay. It's got that kind of, like, yeah. unrendered, unrendered edge to it. Oh, there's a, a full roster of Disney characters. Yeah, I mean, there's a, yeah. characters in this. I mean, there's a full roster of Monsters Inc. characters there. Randall and Mike. I want, I want um, Luke Skywalker to race Sully. That's what I want to see. And that is genuinely impossible. <laughs> it's as ridiculous as it sounds. Steamboat Willie. I mean, they've got the worlds to make some epic tracks. Now, bring it to something other than Switch. Or mobile, more importantly. Yeah. Sign up now. 
I wonder how many miles per screen Mike Wazowski's pulling. I guess we'll all find out together when Disney Speedstorm drops on PC and console. And now, PC let's console? take a stroll through an idyllic mm. Disney neighborhood. Dreamlight Valley, yeah. So this is the one that's out in beta now, but I don't think it fully launches until next year. Getting some decent early reviews, actually. Yeah, I ah. think, you know, every, anytime I see a decent looking kart racer, the reason why I always go to a, a, anything but Switches, not against anything against Switch, I love my Switch, is we already have Mario Kart and the Switch. Mm. We're lacking kart, decent kart racers, racers elsewhere. They go Toy Story Adventure this fall, but I imagine it's going to have more things. Yeah. Maybe that's it. Toy Story is the first mm. kind of area they're going to bring in, and they're going to expand as they go. With Xbox Game Pass, or by grabbing the Founders Pack on your PC, or just by yeah. every console you own. Now, for those who are looking for packs, packs about £25. Pounds. Shooter that you can play in the bad. palm of your hand. Look no and that comes with like a bunch of Avatar points regular. and credits and stuff. Soon, you'll be able to battle for the future of Pandora on your phone. But for now, we've got Jared Yeager, an executive producer at Walt Disney Games, here to tell you more. Hey, everyone. I'm excited to give you a sneak peek at the upcoming Avatar Reckoning. In this MMO RPG shooter, you'll return to the moon of Pandora. I've never to wanted to play MMO, MMO on my phone. Battle of the like. Hallelujah Mountains. As you begin your adventure, You'll customize they your don't, own for me, they just don't fit for I have to for mobile gaming on my phone. I, I want it hyper casual. Yeah. As jump in, play 10 15 minutes and jump out. The <laughs> thing is, for cheap. Mores, are they literally story. polar opposite? Oh, is that not just because we're yeah. old now? Like, we're yes. old in the terms of gaming. Like, kids today, they just they do everything on their mobile phones. Yeah, but it's, it's not just it being on the phone. It's when I want to get invested in the game for long periods of time, there's better mm. screens to play on. This looks arguably better than the Avatar game that came out on PS3 when the movie came out back in 2008. But it's on a mobile. Avatar Reckoning yeah. hits your mobile device soon. I mean, sick of Kishi are uh, back well, yeah. on world premiere. And while uh, people are playing with horrible touchscreen controls, right. you can be just going for headshots. Come on, get away from mobile, please. Yeah. Skydance, that's Amy Hennig's partnership, so here we here go. We Triple A, story driven Marvel Ensemble game. It's gonna be a couple in Paris, of in Paris. That well, that's the leak, isn't it? It's Captain America. Well, I'm just going by the music. It's very it's kind of forties vintage. I mean, there's a cat there. It looks old. Yeah. Uncharted Captain America. What if it's an Uncharted like um, Agent Carter game? Not Captain America, but focusing like what Agent Carter gets up to after. I'm waiting for. Yeah, it's definitely World War era, just by the oh, Hydra. There you go. Yeah. Here we go. There's the shield. Yes. And there's some claw marks through it as well. Oh, Black Panther and Captain America. King Captain, Captain Soldier Spy. Who is this? What is that? A Captain America and Black Panther game. What? Two worlds, oh, two worlds. What? I know you're probably hopping onto Reddit to break down all those Easter eggs, but I recommend you don't tab away just yet because there's another world premiere from Marvel Games coming your way right now. Okay, I mean, I wasn't going to tab away that quick. My attention no, span isn't like... that short. <laughs> Niantic. Oh, they're the Pokemon guys. Yeah. Pokemon Go specifically, sorry. Yeah. What do we think? Disney, I, Pokemon was Go? Ghost, was it Ghostbusters as well? Like, they did? They did. Uh, oh. Was that Niantic or was that someone else? Oh, what was that? Yeah, they did a second one which got kind of sacked after a year or so, didn't it? Yeah. 
Is this just going to be like a Disney Pokemon Go bag? Well, Marvel Star Wars. World of Heroes. Yeah, Pokemon Go meets Marvel. And yeah. there it is, the first ever Disney and Marvel Games Showcase. Oh, so that was short. I did. I'm Blessing Adio Jr. Thanks for joining us. Ooh, it's been our pleasure. Richie. That was a lot shorter than expected. That was a lot weaker than and I expected. Con Star Wars Eclipse. the pacing of this. Yeah. Star I Wars Hunters. It was going to be like, see more. They're showing footage of stuff that it doesn't even have a name. Marvel Skylands Project. What is your next move? They're showing more here than they did in the thing. So they show Jedi Survivor. Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2. Why wasn't this in the showcase? Mobile game, old game, mobile game. Don't know what Tron Identity is. Mobile game. Gonna be showcased I tomorrow. Was, Didn't really tell us I what it was. I was expecting an hour of it, to be honest. Like, a scene more. Aliens. They didn't settle on anything. They just moved. I thought they were moving at a brisk pace to, to get, get through a lot of stuff. Yeah. Because like, they, they're going to show that was Wolverine as yeah, well. Well, that's the it's Insomniac Wolverine game. Oh wow, 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 wow. Right. Okay then. That was. Uh, thanks for watching. Could, I get that vibe of like almost like could have been an email kind of deal. There was a lot of stuff there, but they didn't, like, they didn't dwell on anything. If you're going to go at that sort of pace, I expected them to go, like, show a lot of stuff. Like, they could have slowed down the pacing a bit there, actually. Yeah, that was, like, to say. I'd say, like, 22 minutes in total. Yeah. Uh, in terms of actual game footage, probably, like, between Bless hosting it, maybe, like, 15, take out five minutes of hosting. So, overall, Richie, not, no real news that we didn't know about already. Um, we pretty much got an insight into Amy Hennig's new game, which we, they did say was going to be there. That's from Skydance Media. All we, well, can... we didn't see any anything of significance, really. We no. just kind of got a loose setting in the fact that it's going to be Captain America, Black and Panther. Black Panther, yeah. But nothing about what the game is, really, how it plays or anything like that. Which, when he said there, like, don't go away, we've got another world premiere coming up, I was like, oh, well, they're going to showcase more stuff. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be honest, disappointed with that. I thought that was like, you said the pacing yeah. was terrible and they they didn't really show anything for a showcase. Where was the actual, like for the, so for example, the Amy Hennig stuff, that's the reveal that was the biggest, arguably, and we got 10 seconds of it. Uh, it shows Captain America, Black Panther, two wars, two worlds, four heroes. They didn't have like Amy Hennig on camera saying, we're looking to create a world with exciting heroes in a story that's never been told before single player narrative driven and just you know what i mean like get someone from the dev team tell us the name of the project maybe yeah seemed a bit uh lackluster for their first uh ever showcase uh chat what do you guys think of uh that 22 minutes worth of uh game reveals richie any any particular thing you want to pick out um i think the midnight sun's like shots look pretty cool i'd agree i haven't even finished my beer that's how short it was yeah I've, I've... i have a second ready a like second I mean, beer in anticipation. <laughs> yeah, because I thought I was gonna be sat here like an hour or more. Yeah, so if we scrub through, we got the we got the Tron game from Bithel Games, which I'm sure it must be Mike Bithel. Um I'm guessing that's some kind of racing game. It was a Tron identity. So uploading in twenty twenty three. So we'll probably see more probably at the game awards or something. Uh we got the Mickey Mickey and Minnie platformer, which was a throwback to the Mega Drive Castle of Illusion games which looks fun looks great again they could have spent more time on that if it was going to be this short they could have spent a little bit more i wonder if they'd look at the criticism like jeff Keeley gets where it's usually too long too many adverts and went too far the other way yeah like, the, yeah the, the pendulum has swung to the to, way too, too short far, way to too way, short like, like yeah i yeah. would have liked to see a bit more because all these the new reveals especially you got midnight suns then we got midnight suns the the little kind of showcase of their upcoming cartoon shots which do look great uh, in and amongst all that, we had all the mobile games that were showcased off. Strike Force, Marvel the Snap. Mobile games generally look fine. Like, if you're into mm. mobile games, personally not. So, yeah, nothing there. Each to their own. This is where it could have been like a Marvel mobile showcase, though. Yeah. Rather than what, what like, we've got. We saw Monkey Island again, but again, we didn't we, really we knew see about anything, that. That, anything that added to that. Yeah. What did you think of so the 
Aliens Dawkins game. Better, were better than Koch Media, though. Yes, um, they were, Coom, now. It wasn't Koch Media. Uh, the Alien it, game looked great. Again, interesting that this yeah, one cool. didn't have a trailer. They just segued straight but, into gameplay, which I love seeing gameplay, but you could have spent another settled, two minutes with a trailer. It could have spent another like, a couple of minutes showing a bit more of how the game plays rather than like what was probably what 30 seconds max yeah i mean i know avatar is going to be massively showcased at you at the ubisoft forward tomorrow by the way folks tune in tomorrow um i think it's a little bit earlier actually i think it's 8 p.m british summertime uh ubisoft forward the first one of the year we're expecting big things from skull and bones not sea of thieves richie uh avatar frontiers of pandora potentially star wars the division uh, and in amongst some other things that's close to the chest uh, i actually think the skywalker saga here got more screen time than any other game and it's dlc and it's it's already out again it's a it's a fun game it's not the best lego game it's not the best lego star wars game in fact but they're clearly doubling down on it sold so well they've got the galactic edition coming out which is essentially the game of the year edition yeah i found it weird that they're adding characters which do not appear in the star uh, skywalker saga into that game yeah, it's just more characters, isn't it? It's not yeah. hard to make a Lego one. Uh, then we got the Disney Classics game came out. Uh, Gargoyles remastered again. I remember the, I remember the TV show. I didn't realize they had a game uh, actually published by it, which is no surprise from back then. Everything got a tie-in game, but again, very little showing off. We literally just got like a, a five-second clip of a gargoyle chucking someone off a castle top. Um, and the real, the sad thing is, Richie, they're I, not really gargoyles. I, I don't really. Yeah, oh, what they're called? Something else. You... Oh, the, the word escapes me. It's like monstrous. It's grotesque. It's grotesque, yeah. yeah. Gar- gargoyles. Um, grotesque is the statue. Gargoyles with the water coming out of its mouth. Or the other way. Yeah. But we digress. Uh, mobile game, mobile game, mobile game. Bit of blessing. Uh, we got the Ra- Speedstorm, Disney Speedstorm Racer, which, of course, looks I... like a cat racer. Could be fun. The could new... be great. Nothing was big. Nothing was showed in any sort of depth that's what i think it was missing if it was only going to be a half hour showcase and it blitz through like 25 like 22 minutes and then add eight minutes on one big reveal mm-hmm. you could go yeah okay i see what you've done there and end like, on if something the amy bigger. hennig stuff like okay well you're going to get half like five to ten minutes of the showcase as a kind of cl- as a closer yeah just to round yeah, things out but we just saw like a few shots kind of okay now we know all we know is amy hennig's working on a game that ha- features black panther and captain america mm-hmm. and obviously the, it leaked earlier on today so there's still a bit of hype behind it but it would have been nice yeah. to see more on that hype i didn't i didn't actually see the leaks on that so it, it, it was literally about two hours ago it wasn't like yeah. early early uh but it turns out it was true uh, yes, di- more Disney's Dreamlight Valley. We saw some of that. We saw an Avatar mobile game showcase. And then, yeah, we got the world premiere for the new Skydance Media. Clearly looks set to be in World War. Um, I'm actually keen to break this down a bit more from the trailer. So we've got Paris. Again, graphically looks like the best thing they've shown off all evening. Uh, we've got the streets of Paris. Stuff going on. We've got, what have we got on this table then? So we've got an old-style windy-up clock. We've got... It looks like some kind of war propaganda, some pamphlets, um, something going on in Paris. Hy- Hydra stuff. So yeah, we've got a poster for someone called maybe Jeanette or something. There's a book with some kind of it looks like some inking thing on. There's a dagger. There's a blade on the table as well. Don't know what relevance that's got. I'm sure there's an Easter breakdown. We've got a uh, old school pistol um, over on the left. I think that's a Morse code machine with the little tappy taps. Um, then it says Hydra something. Uh, it's in German, so apologies, but I'm guessing it says uh, private, confidential, top secret, whatever that word translates to. And uh, then we pan across to a Hydra kind of captain's helmet, commander's helmet. There's a little kind of glowy box on the Is side. The Black Panther going to be on the side of Hydra, do you think? It, well, we don't know, do we? Then it pans across Captain America's shield with some claw marks in it. My immediate go-to was Wolverine, but then in hindsight, it's five claw marks, then- so... Vibranium. My, my thought was Wolverine, and then we saw Black Panther. I was like, okay, that's Black Panther. Yeah, um, but they do look to be on the same side here. King, Captain, Soldier, could, I mean, they're spy. clearly at some point going to be, and it's going to be starting off as antagonist, but then one of them's going to be on the wrong side and moves over across that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. We've got two worlds here, so it looks like you've got, obviously, Wakanda and you've got Paris. What was Wakanda doing during the war, Richie, when they had, obviously, all their technology and such? Yeah. Could be interesting. Yeah. Uh, but yes, Amy Maybe Hennig. Wakanda, 
I'm guessing it's not T'Challa. It'll be a different Black Panther. Maybe like Wakanda, like the Black Panther was manipulated into being on the side of Hydra, but then he learn as he learns more about them, switches allegiance. Who knows? Who knows? But uh, yeah, obviously Amy Hennig, famed for the Uncharted original Uncharted trilogy. Uh, she's not working on anything, but but Skylands Media, a new company set up just to tell these stories. Four heroes, two worlds, one war. Twenty twenty two Marvel. Do you, do you expect anything from the Niantic game? Because I've I've got a, I've got a feeling Pokemon Go was just a a one off. It, it hit it hit well. <laughs> The, and yeah, then people have moved on from that yeah the concept of pokemon go works because it's pokemon like going around in the real yeah. world and capturing them makes total sense going around in the world walking and collecting hero points or collecting vibranium it doesn't, doesn't have this yeah fit. it doesn't fit the same gotta catch them all mantra that literally pokemon's foundations are based yeah. on and if you say like oh go go for a five minute walk and collect like thor points or doctor strange magic points it's like no no. It's one of their moments where I think with Pokemon Go, Niantic cap- captured lightning in the bottle. They had the right IP at a moment where the well went, you know what? I'm up for that. And Absolutely. Then play Pokemon Go. Absolutely. Yeah, we've so exactly. If, you, if you're kind of itching for that sort of game, you can just go back and play Pokemon Go. It's still, it's still a thing. It still yeah. gets updates. I would rather go. I get my urge to go back every now and again. So, yeah. But either way, then the ironic thing is, yeah, they wrapped up showcasing clips from. We saw uh, Star Wars Eclipse, Star Wars Hunters, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, more Star Wars Eclipse. Looks great. The Skydance New Media Project. And then A Kingdom Hearts was in there. Jedi Survivor, which we know comes out early next year. And That's then the thing with Star stuff that we know is coming out next year. My, Spider-Man oh. 2. I can't believe they dropped Spider-Man 2 at the end. is just kind of like a highlight reel, but didn't have That's, anything... Yeah. For Spider-Man it, it 2, in it? It feels we- a weird choice, to be honest, to do stuff like that. Like, Either way. I don't know. Either way, much shorter than we actually anticipated. 22 minutes all in all, I would say, so less than half an hour. Um, would have liked to see more. Uh, for the, f- I guess it's the first ever attempt. Uh, Kumina was right in the chat. It wasn't as bad as the Koch Media presentation. No, no. However, it was production value. Yeah, but yeah, well, yeah, they definitely had production value. Uh, but yeah. alas, we will return, of course, tomorrow for the Ubisoft Forward event, um, where we're hoping to break down a lot more than this and hopefully a lot more announcements and some more information. We might get some more news trickle out now that this has been announced. We'll see a few more things. Uh, but thank you to everyone who has tuned in tonight, who's watched along. Don't forget, before you do leave, give the video a like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you're kept in the loop with all of the content we do here at Helix Cloud Games. Uh, we'll be back, of course, every Monday with the Sounds of Stadia podcast, your weekly Stadia podcast, where we round up all the cloud gaming news for that particular platform. Every Tuesday, we round up all the PlayStation news in our Talking the PS PlayStation podcast with Rob and and Jeff. And then on Fridays on free feeds, you get our Cloud Quest show, our weekly cloud gaming topical discussional show, which Richie, I think we're about to go away and record an actual episode of it right now. If you're yep. watching out there and have a question for the Cloud Quest show, by all means, join us in our Discord server, send in your questions to the channel, and they might get read out on the show. Uh, but that's it for tonight for our stream. Nice and short, Richie. Nice uh, short shift for us. We can go about our ways. Get some more work done behind the scenes. Uh, have a great weekend, folks, if we don't see you again. But remember, tune in tomorrow, 8 p.m., British Summer Time, for the Ubisoft Forward. Big news ahead. Uh, my name's been Chris. I've been Richie. Have a great weekend, folks. And remember to play whatever makes you the happiest. And, of course, on one final note, rest in peace, Queen Elizabeth II. Good evening and goodbye.